it's Kat. Today we're going to be doing some very gentle yoga just to help you relieve any kind of lower back pain that you have. Um, first and foremost, I want to tell you that although the majority of pain in your lower back is normally just caused by a weakness in your core and in through your glutes, um, sometimes it is a different issue. So if you have consistent pain or you have sharp pain in your lower back, go and see somebody before you do anything else. Um, otherwise, you're just treating the symptom and not treating the cause. Um, but if you are somebody who just is struggling with lower back pain because of a weak core or weak glutes, then this should help you relieve some of that pain whilst you are also doing core work and strengthening your glutes. Right? Yes. Okay, so let's start today just by coming to a seated position. <clears throat> if you want to sit on a cushion, then do that. You can even sit in a chair as well if you'd like to. Um, or sit on your knees. Whatever you need to do just to be really comfortable so that you're not bothered. Take a moment to let your eyes close. And allow gravity to just bear down on your shoulders. And as you breathe in, lengthen the crown of your head to the sky. And let your mind drift fully into the present moment. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a clearing breath out through your mouth. Again, in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. And then you're gonna find your way forward into um, a kind of tabletop position. If you have got bony knees, then definitely put a blanket underneath your knees as well. And then stack your wrists underneath your shoulders and keep your belly pulled in ever so slightly just so that you can stay really long through your back body. As you breathe in now, allow your belly button to drop to the floor, roll your shoulders back and lift your head. Move very gently, move very slowly. And then as you exhale, pull your belly button towards your spine and take a round through your back. Let your head drop. Breathe in. Your belly, dro belly drops to the floor and your head lifts. Exhale, curve it round the other way. And very gently press into the mat with your hands. You should feel a nice opening across the top of your back. Breathe in, drop your belly, lift your head. And breathe out, curl it round the other way. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, belly drops. And really do send your chest forward. Press your tailbone back. Exhale, curl your belly button round. Press the mat away. And come to a neutral spine. Curl your toes underneath you and find your way into downward facing dog, whichever variation you need. So you can keep your knees bent if you need to, straighten them out. Whatever you're doing, just make sure that you're pushing into the mat with your hands so that you can stay nice and long through your spine. Keep your gaze between your feet or maybe up at your belly. But there should be no tension in your neck. In fact, go ahead and shake your head side to side so you can feel that there's no tension there. Keep using your breath to find your way into an opening across the backs of your legs and your hips. Mm -hmm. 
If you want to, you can even bend one knee and then bend the other. And you can use this kind of motion to start to feel the opening across the backs of your legs. Another thing that I like to do is just tilt my hips from side to side. And then on your next inhale, just walk your feet towards your hands and lift your spine up halfway or so and then bend your knees. If you can keep your knees straight, then that's cool too. Otherwise, bend your knees, let your head drop. It doesn't really matter where your hands are, even if they're on your shins, that's fine. But you really want to allow your upper body to become very heavy. Once again, give your head a shake side to side if that feels good. And once again, you can also bend one knee and then the other. Using these kind of small movements to gain more access, more opening. As you breathe in now, bend at your legs, curl through your spine to come up. And when you get to the top, take a deep breath in and reach your hands up overhead and then come down to your sides. Breathe in and grow really long and tall through your head, pull your belly button in slightly. And then as you exhale, let your chin drop to your chest and then follow the movement to curl down into a forward fold. Again, bending the knees if you need to. As you breathe in, lift your chest up halfway or so. And then drop your hands to the floor, make your way back and onto your knees, and then start to lower your chest all the way to the ground. When you get to the ground, you're gonna bring your elbows just underneath your shoulders with your fingers facing forward, and then allow some release through your lower body, so don't be um, very tense in those muscles. However, in your upper body, you're staying broad across your chest and pressing your elbows in. If this feels really uncomfortable on your lower back, then just place a towel right above your hips so that your belly can rest on the towel and so that the arc is not that much. The sensation that you're looking for is not a tight pinching sensation. If you're feeling that, then go ahead and add the towel underneath. You're looking for a lengthening and an opening across your spine. And on your next inhale, you start to lower your chest all the way down to the floor and bring your forehead to your hands. And then go ahead and press into the palms of your hands to find your way up. Then cross at your ankles so that you can work your way down onto your back.
As you get to your back, draw your knees into your chest. You can shake side to side as well if that feels good. And then let your left foot drop to the floor, keep your knee bent and hook your right ankle over the top of your left knee. So if this is enough for you, you might want to just stay here and think about pressing your right knee away from you. If you have more space through your hips, then you can interlace your fingers behind your left thigh and still uh, maintain this motion of pressing the right knee out as you simultaneously draw your left foot in. Your left foot, your left leg. <laughs> And you should be able to feel a really good release through your right hip. Also, do keep your chin tucked so that you're nice and long through your neck. And if you find that you're curling up and your tailbone is coming up off of the floor, press it down. You might have to give a bit with your legs but it's important to maintain that length in the spine. And we'll change sides now. So drop your right foot to the floor, keep the knee bent, and hook the left ankle on top of the right knee. Again, stay here if that's enough for you, and keep thinking about pressing your right knee out. Otherwise, sorry, your left knee out. <laughs> Otherwise, draw your right leg in, and hook your fingers behind your right thigh. You might notice that one side feels more intense than the other. And that's fine, that's normal. We are normally tighter on one side than the other. So in yoga, we're trying to find the imbalance and then we begin to correct it. Don't forget the very gentle push out of the left knee. Whilst you're guiding your right thigh down towards your chest, tailbone is flat, nice and long through your neck. If you're very mobile through your hips, by the way, you can also grab your right shin. And then slowly begin to release. Put both of your feet on the floor and then bring your feet hip distance apart, just jokes, <laughs> mat width apart and let your knees knock together. Bring your hands to your belly. And just allow for those little sensations, the little activations, you'll be able to feel them just to settle. And then you're gonna extend your left leg out and draw your right knee in. And then pull your right knee over and across your body. So you can stack your hips, we're taking a supine twist. Maybe your right hand can come out to the side as well. There's a lot of options here. This is not a really easily accessible pose for a lot of people. So do stack something underneath your right knee if you need to. Um, you can also bring your knees together if that's easier for you. And once you're here, 
If you can start to shuffle your gaze over your right hand, then that's great, do that. And your left hand is resting very gently on your knee. Gently find your way back to center now. And we will take it to the other side. So extend your right leg and draw your left knee in. Draw it in and then bring it over and across your body so that you can stack your hips. Remembering again that you can put something underneath your left knee if you need to or you can bring your right knee under your left as well. And then open out your left hand to the side. If you need more, you can also cactus your left hand. And there's no real effort required here. You're just allowing gravity to press down into you. So you're just lying here in this shape and allowing gravity to do all of the work. Bring yourself slowly back to center, guide your left knee up and then draw both of your knees in and bring your feet to the width of the mat and knock your knees together. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart and then actually just lift your chest up off of the floor, lift your head and place them back down so that you feel like your upper body is really spread. And then do the same with your hips, lift them up, place them down, and your feet. So everything is really um, like fresh. <laughs> and you don't feel the need to fidget or to move. As you breathe, Start to imagine that you can direct your breath into the muscles around your lower back and your abdomen. So that you can use your breath to sort of massage from the inside, bringing a sense of ease. 
into all of the muscles across your back and through your abdomen. Now slowly begin to guide your awareness back into the room. Then you can very gently let your knees knock from side to side. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your knees up into your chest. Draw them in. and then very gently find your way to a seated position. If you would like, you can bring your hands together at your heart center and your thumbs to your foreheads. Namaste.
I hope that was really helpful for you and if it was please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, you can follow along with me on YouTube and I also have an online uh, yoga studio where you can access courses um, as well as more videos too. Have a great day! Ha, <laughs>